Hello my chickens, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm just gonna be doing a makeup tutorial. I think I wanna do a silver smoky cut crease eye look with a nude lip, so that's what I have in mind because I haven't done one of those in so long. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. As per usual, I'm gonna start out with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20. I've been using this for the longest time now for an eye primer and it works so well. So I'm just putting a little bit on the back of my hand and Putting this all over my eyelids. This is better than the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot in my opinion. I used to love that so much. I never used to use anything else until I discovered this. Now just going over that with my Beauty Blender to pick up any excess concealer. I've already filled in my brows with the MAC, um, what's it called? It is the MAC True Brunette Fluid Line Brow Cream. When you prime your eyes, always remember to set it down with a pressed powder so all of the colors blend out on top easily, otherwise you're just gonna get stuck to the concealer because it is super tacky. Now it's time for the eyeshadow. So I'm going in with my Huda Beauty Textured Eyeshadow Palette, the Rose Gold Edition. This is so pretty. Look at all of the colors. I'm sure you guys have seen this floating around on the internet for a while. But the first color that I'm going to take is Sandalwood, just this medium brown tone. And this is going in my crease with a fluffy brush. So I'm just going to take it in little circular motions. These shadows are so pigmented. I'm just going to take a bigger fluffy brush to blend out the edges so we can keep it nice and soft. So I'm just putting a little tiny bit of pressure on there to soften that out a tiny bit. Now for the next shade, I'm going in with this one right here and this is going closer to the crease. So we're just gonna add some cool tones in there so it can match the silver. So I'm not gonna bring this one up as high. Now going back in with that MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm using this to carve out my crease and the brush that I'm using is just a winged liner brush. I'm just gonna start from the inner corner and Carve her out. I have a really hooded eye, so I love doing cut creases because I can bring them up higher and it makes my lid look bigger. And then taking a little concealer brush, I'm just going to put this all over my lid and this is going to be where I put the silver shadow. I'm just going to set that concealer down just a little bit with a pressed powder just so it's not too tacky. And then I'm going in with this glitter from Glitter Injections. It is just a very, very pigmented silver, as you can see right there. And I'm just going to use this little brush to put it all over my eyelid. I'm using a synthetic brush so a lot of colour comes off. I have a feeling that this next step might ruin the whole entire look, but I'm willing to do that because I feel like the crease is way too light. I definitely want some black up there, so I'm going to go in with this black eyeshadow. Oh, eh. With this black eyeshadow on a little tiny brush, and I'm just going to like buff this into my crease. Wish me luck, honestly. Now let's move on to the face. So I'm going to use the Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer. This is a skin <laughs> a skin perfecting primer. So it's going to ensure that the makeup will stay on longer. And it's also going to fill in my little pores as well. So I'm going to use a brush to apply this just because I do have glitter all over my fingers. And my face. But hopefully the foundation covers it. <laughs> Now let's move on to foundation so I can match my neck to my face. So I'm going to take the Rimmel Lasting Finish Skin Perfecting Medium Coverage Foundation. I'm going to mix two shades. So we have the shade 303 and 203. Um, I'm not too sure what shade's going to be mine, so just going to mix them together. I'm just going to apply this with a stippling brush. Oh my god, that is literally the perfect match to my neck. And I'm just going to buff this into my face. This foundation has a really good coverage. Now it's time for concealer to get rid of these bags under my eyes. So I'm going to go in with the Becca Aquiluminous Perfecting Concealer and I have the shade Fair. So I'm just going to go directly under my eyes. I love the applicator on this. It's really fluffy. And you know what to do. I'm just going to blend out this with my trusty beauty blender. 
And then to bake under my eyes, I'm using the Makeup Studio Professional Makeup Translucent Powder in Extra Fine. I'm just going to put a little bit in the lid and go in and bake. I try to use like banana shades under my eyes, but it still creases no matter what I do. So this is the best way for me. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm going in with the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Press Powder in the shade Medium Tan. So I'm just using a Kabuki brush and I'm going in on a little bit more coverage and I want to make sure my face doesn't look oily at all. Time for the lower lash line. I'm going to start with this shade right here and this is going to go from outer corner to inner corner. So I'm going to get a mirror really close to my eyeball so I can really see what's happening. I'm just applying it with a little tiny pencil brush, looking up and absolutely dousing my lower lash line. Then going in with the black from that same palette, I'm going to focus this on the outer half really close to the lashes. Someone's calling me. Don't know who it is. I'm declining you. Bye. Now for mascara, I'm going in with my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. And I'm just putting this on before falsies so we can make them nice and black. For my lashes, I'm just going to apply these really thin ones because I want the silver to show through when I'm opening my eyes. And I always do thick lashes anyway, so I want to change it up a bit. Um, I've let my glue get really tacky, so I'm just going to put a little bit on the lash band. Looking down into my little mirror, and I'm going to stick it as close as I can to my lash line. Let's go ahead and bronze up my face. So I'm going to start by taking my Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in the shade medium 2. Just on a little round brush. I'm just going to put this under my cheekbones. Ew, I like bum hole lips. Uh -huh. I'm just putting a, a little bit under here because my cheekbones are naturally really defined. So if I go the smallest little bit overboard, it looks ridiculous. And now I'm going in with my Marc Jacobs 102 Tantric Omega Bronzer. This is the biggest bronzer of all times. So let's warm up the face a little bit, shall we? Just putting it on my cheekbones and I'm also going to put it around my temples as well around my hairline. I'm going to do a little bit of baking under my contour just because I brought it down really far. <laughs> my bad. I'm only going to leave that on for about five seconds and then we're going to go in and blend it away otherwise it's going to be too harsh. It's obviously just some translucent powders that work for baking because some are like really intense and leave a white strip. And then others are fine, you know? Okay, so I'm just going to go in with a little bit more bronzer and blend that line out a tiny bit. For a bit of colour on the cheeks, I'm taking this NARS blush in the shade Luster. This is a beautiful, shimmery, coral blush. I'm just going to start working this on the apples on my cheeks and blending it back. This matches so many different makeup looks and it is so luminous. Now with this Makeup Geek highlighter in the shade Lit, this one is a duo chrome. I'm just going to highlight my face with this. This one is really light, so it's going to be intense. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This one kind of has like a purple reflect to it. I think. I can't figure it out. Yeah, I think so. Or like a pinky purple. A little bit on the tip of my nose, as per usual. Now it's time for the lips, so I'm taking the Rimmel London Provocalypse uh, Kiss Proof Lip Colour and I have the shade 700. I've let this sit for about one minute, so now let's go in with the other side to make it nice and glossy. Last but not least, I'm going in with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Let's do this. I feel like nothing comes out. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna go fix my hair and put some jewelry on and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we have the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll leave all the products I use in this video down in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video.